Is that Jan Arden? She's got the tuft on her head. I'm just so that's Martha Van Gogh. Right. Yeah. And the red, the red comes from the Osman blood, blood lines. <clears throat> Usually she brews some nice pigeons, that one. Nice dark red. Okay. Yeah. They've got the nest down, uh, all these boxes. Yeah. And they nested down there, look. All these boxes. Yeah. All this space that go and nest on the floor. because he's old, isn't it? All these crabby, filthy nest boxes, look. And she, he, he can make like, nest down there. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's still right. What's through here, then? Do I go that way instead? Why? No, that's just as bad. <laughs> just, <laughs> just as bad. Um, He's not cleaned this bit out by the looks of it. No. Please, please. What's in here then? These are, um, these are pigeons, yeah? Right. So, these are pigeons. Yeah. I like later bred pigeons, and they, most of them now... Are these all young ones, are they? These are all young ones, and they fly like hell now. They really go away, these. Actually, these ones fly better than the early ones I've here. Where's all your early ones in? Oh, we'll get that far to you in a minute. The, see all the blacks? Look. Yeah, all the dark ones, yeah. Yeah, they're all, they are all roughly related to the Vanderbilts. Right. Yeah. The, the, even the white one. The white one, the father to that whitish one there is a pure Vanderbilt, black pied, paired to a dark pied, which is off the German pigeon paired with Jan Arden. So, and, and these here. What colour is that one? Well, I think they call them a sort of yellowy, buffy colour, don't they? Was it a dun? Oh, yeah. From a dun? That's, that's the Elf Baker lines. Right. Yeah. And in here. I actually don't believe in all that crap, really. Elf Baker lines. How long has he been dead? Look, I don't care what you believe, Joe. If I have my Elf Baker <laughs> lines, I'm getting. That come from Luella. All right, Luella. Um, and my Mick from Felix. I, I can't understand why people have all these breeze. Well, yeah, I haven't got many breeds. Alright. Look. What's in here? There's your blacks again. Right? Mm -hmm. The grizzles come from either Kirkpatrick, which I had years ago, or they know maybe mostly come through the Roland Jansons, but I don't rate them very high, the Roland Jansons. But okay. that, that grizzle there, <coughs> that's off the German pigeon. Right. When paired to a grizzle. I think that grizzle what I had was a German pigeon and was a Kirkpatrick. See? And me, these and the reds, they're from a French pigeon. What, a French stray or a French bird? Uh, yeah, that's right, Joe, actually. That was a French stray. <laughs> yes, yes, if you want to tell them that, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a French stray. All right. right. But all the blacks are coming from the Vandies. Okay. Oh, look in here, look. What's in here? More birds. Only one or two. I don't, I don't really like them sitting on the floor. Oh, time to get up then. Why, why do you think they sit on the floor for? I think that's because we're coming down and hustle them out there. All right. They're yeah, a nice couple of youngies in the corner there, look. Yeah. Ah, no, those are the ones which are off that dark pied. Yeah, they're, they're the two what are off the dark pied. What we, I understand them, they're what, right. what I understand. Yeah. See some more buffy colours. It's like you say, you look at the blacks and you know what they are anyway. And the, and the the red, the dark red pods, they come from the old baker pigeon, paired to a dark switching cross hoban. Well, hoban is supposed to be a distance bird. Is it? Yeah. But the the young one I got didn't get back was a blue, and that was crossed with them. Um, that was a hoban pigeon crossed with them. Um, Roland Jansen, and I didn't really expect to say it, and I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Did you want to go and have a look at the only hut you ain't looked in yet? Where's that then? That's back through here. I've only got two pigeons in that hut. You like, might like to see them. No. Well, there is one thing I'd like to say, though. I'm not on the electrics when I park them in. You're not on the electrics, you don't no, do ETS. I'm, still on, I'm on rubbers. Yeah. Not their mothers, but the rubbers, you know. Yeah. Race rubbers. And and that cock bird, poor black dark pied, yeah. is very slow at going in. Well he, he was slow the other day, weren't he? Uh, yeah. About and three minutes. You don't, don't like being caught. I thought you said there's only two birds in here. There they are. These are the 
second round of young ones right here. Yeah. Except for I've got two, two. That went to Guernsey the last time. Look. That came back from Guernsey, but that was shattered. That got in with something. Who knows where it come back from? They, they come on the day, right? But oh, the wings are hanging on her. This one here is spread off them. Um, Steph Henry. I don't rate that at all, but that's, that's last year's young. So you don't really think a lot of the old ETS system in? Can't afford to, you. Can't afford that, you can I? That's not just having ETS and, and clock them in on the outside like everybody else do, right? You get a mob come and land, they're clocked in. But I can't afford to pay £1.30 for a bloody ring. Right. If I've got. Alright, some people say, well, I only, only breed about 30 pigeons. That's still over 30 quid for rings, isn't it? Then you lose some, so then you've got to buy again next time. Okay. But I was watching a video the other day on, online that was um, it was GPS loss. And he showed the race result of his race the other day. Yeah. And I think the winner of the race clocked the first 20 positions yeah. in the race. Yeah, he done well, didn't he? He done very well, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this pigeon. That, that weren't GPS the winner. No. No. This one here, I will admit, this is a stray. That's an 010 pigeon, and that went in my mates at Felixstowe, and, I, and he, the blo he reported it, right. and the bloke couldn't find what breed it was. But this pigeon, I think he's a, he's a real lovely pigeon he is, look. Look at him. But that's a job to get a young one out of it. That's another one what needs to be on its own. I, I, I think that's, that's a cracking looking pigeon. That, that holds even better than my German pigeon. Does it? Yeah, yeah. There is there is a couple in here out of them actually. Late breeds. That's one of them. That one there. Yeah. And another checker in here with no ring on it. No but, but they, they, and, and a that, checker there, look. Yeah, that's the other one. And the one that's paired to is her. Just like that one there. Yeah, and she's off the German bloodlines. That check the point. Yeah. But those two young ones don't they don't really feel like they're off him. So right. maybe maybe something one of these young ones, young cocks might have traded her. You can't never tell really, that's not absolutely guaranteed no. living in this sort of environment where they can all yeah. jump on each other and that's tread right. each other, is it? That's right. Then I had one or two odd cocks come in there. But but last year I bred off him and I've got a hen bird in there, look identical to that. Right. Yeah, I mean that's a hen bird and that is a nice pigeon. So now you've seen them all. Alright then, well thank you very much. Yeah. Nice to see your birds return from uh, Guernsey. Perhaps yes. one day we'll uh, video the birds coming back. Might have to be next year now, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. Alright. See these these blues, these these blues are um, new birds, and that's what that last young one come off, and the home when cross touching. Right. And uh, well, when I paired a pair of them together, all the young ones died before they got out the nest, and then there's another pair. I had I had a double barrel full Barry, right? I paired it to one of the hens, same way as them, right? And and that did they didn't grow up to be any good. They they they, they died. Oh dear, dear. Do I think maybe they were too closely related, or or they just perhaps they've been used to a clean loft. Yeah. Yeah. Will you stop pointing somewhere? I thought I just saw a mouse. No, it weren't. That was a big caterpillar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. And um, thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe, for taking the mic. <laughs> As you usually do. Other people's lofts you go to, you don't, do you? But for some reason, <laughs> right, you're thanks to the body. I've got to go. See ya.